Hello everyone, welcome to my channel please subscribe and hit the bell icon. The end of Brook and Ridge on Bold and the Beautiful. Brooke Logan and Ridge Forrester's latest run as a couple on the Bold and the Beautiful is reportedly winding down. You would think at this stage in their lives they would be ready to just settle down and grow old together. But Taylor Hayes, Rebecca Bodick, has other ideas. Is this the beginning of the end of Bridge on Bold and the Beautiful? Keep reading to find out. Here's what's happening next week on the CBS soap, spoilers ahead. The Bold and the Beautiful Spoilers, Taylor Hayes wants Ridge Forrester back. Brooke Logan, Catherine Kelly Lang, hasn't had to worry about her marriage since her frenemy Taylor Hayes left the country and basically handed Ridge Forrester, Thorsten K., to her on a silver platter. After pondering for a couple years, Taylor Hayes is back on the bold and the beautiful together man back. The bold and the beautiful spoilers hint by the end of this week, Taylor will profess her love to her ex-husband, and it won't be long until Ridge and Taylor are caught in a compromising moment. Meanwhile, Brooke Logan is on Ridge's naughty list. He's having a tough time accepting the fact that Brooke's daughter tried to steal his daughter's husband. Hope and Steffi's new feud brought back a lot of unresolved issues for Brooke and Taylor. According to B and B spoilers, it won't be long before Brooke and Taylor are facing off too, and there could be another catfight on the horizon. But will Ridge be Team Taylor? B and B spoilers. Bridge collapses. The bold and the beautiful fall preview suggests Ridge and Brooke's time together is winding down. Ridge and Taylor are ready to ride off into the sunset together. That means Brooke Logan will be single and ready to mingle again soon, and Los Angeles better lock up their husbands. The tension in the air was thick, almost suffocating. At the Forrester Mansion, the lavish surroundings seemed dimmer, as though they sensed the impending storm about to unravel. It wasn't just any evening, it was the night that would forever mark the end of an era, an era dominated by one of the most iconic couples in soap opera history, Brooke Logan and Ridge Forrester. For decades, their love had been a whirlwind of passion, betrayal, heartbreak, and reunions. Brooke, with her beauty, charm, and undying devotion, had fought for Ridge's love against all odds. Ridge, with his powerful presence and inner turmoil, had always found his way back to her, no matter how far apart they drifted, but even the strongest love stories have their breaking point. Tonight, that breaking point had arrived. The room where they stood seemed eerily quiet, the only sound being the faint ticking of the ornate grandfather clock in the corner. Brooke stood by the fireplace, her hands clasped tightly as if she were holding on to something, anything, to keep herself grounded. Her blue eyes, always so full of life, were now clouded with sorrow and uncertainty. Ridge paced in front of her, his face a mask of frustration and resignation, his strong jawline clenched, as if holding back words he wasn't ready to say. How did we get here, Brooke? Ridge finally spoke, his voice low, almost defeated. Brooke's lips trembled before she responded. I don't know, Ridge. We've been here before, haven't we? So many times, but this time feels different. It feels like... Like there's nothing left to fight for. Ridge finished her sentence, his tone sharper than he intended. The sting of his own words hit him harder than he expected. Brooke flinched but quickly recovered. Is that what you think? That there's nothing left between us? Ridge stopped pacing, turning to face her. His eyes, usually so full of intensity and fire, seemed tired, worn down by the years of constant battles. I don't know what to think anymore, Brooke. Every time we try to fix things, something else breaks. It's like we're trapped in this endless cycle. The memories of their countless breakups and reconciliations flooded Brooke's mind. The affairs, the lies, the misunderstandings. She had always believed that love could conquer all, that no matter how bad things got, they would find their way back to each other. But this time, something was different. The foundation of their relationship felt cracked, almost irreparably so. I've always loved you, Ridge, Brooke whispered, her voice thick with emotion. Even when we were apart, even when we hurt each other, I never stopped loving you. Ridge closed his eyes for a moment, as if trying to absorb the weight of her words. And I've loved you too, Brooke. You know that. But love, love isn't always enough. The silence that followed was deafening. Brooke felt her heart sink deeper into her chest, the reality of what was happening finally settling in. For so long, she had convinced herself that they could overcome anything, 
but now, standing here in this moment, she wasn't so sure. Is it Taylor? Brooke's voice was barely audible, but the question hung in the air like a dark cloud. Is that why you're pulling away? Ridge shook his head, a flicker of guilt crossing his face. No, Brooke. This isn't about Taylor. It's about us. It's about the fact that we keep hurting each other over and over again, and I don't know if we can keep doing this. Brooke's eyes brimmed with tears, but she blinked them away, refusing to let them fall. I thought we were stronger than that. I thought we were unbreakable. We used to be, Ridge said softly. But things change. People change. Brooke turned away from him, walking slowly toward the large bay window that overlooked the Forester estate. She gazed out at the garden, remembering the countless times they had stood there together, talking about their future, their dreams. But now those dreams felt like distant memories, lost in the chaos of their tumultuous relationship. I don't know if I can let you go, Brooke admitted, her voice barely above a whisper. Ridge moved toward her, standing just a few feet behind her. I don't want to hurt you, Brooke. I never wanted that. But you have, she said, turning to face him once more. We've hurt each other so much, Ridge. Maybe. Maybe you're right. Maybe love isn't enough. The words felt like a betrayal of everything she had fought for, but deep down, Brooke knew they were true. They had tried, God, had they tried. Sometimes, even the most passionate love stories come to an end. Ridge stepped closer, his eyes filled with a mixture of sorrow and resolve. Maybe it's time we stop trying to fix something that's been broken for too long. Brooke looked up at him, her heart shattering with every word. So, this is it. After everything we've been through, this is how it ends. Ridge reached out, gently cupping her face in his hands. I'll always love you, Brooke. You'll always be a part of me. But we can't keep doing this. We can't keep tearing each other apart. Tears finally spilled down Brooke's cheeks as she leaned into his touch, savoring the warmth of his hands for what she knew might be the last time. I don't know how to say goodbye to you, she confessed. Ridge's own eyes glistened with unched tears. Maybe we don't have to say goodbye. Maybe we just let go. For a long moment, they stood there in silence, their hearts breaking in unison. There was no yelling, no dramatic declarations of hatred. Just two people who had loved each other fiercely, realizing that their time had come to an end. Slowly, Ridge let his hands drop from her face, and Brooke took a step back, the distance between them feeling like a chasm. She wanted to hold on to him, to beg him to stay, but deep down, she knew that this was the right thing to do. They couldn't keep hurting each other. With a final, lingering glance, Ridge turned and walked toward the door. Brooke watched him go, her heart aching with every step he took. When the door finally closed behind him, she let out a shaky breath, the reality of their breakup hitting her like a tidal wave. This was the end of Brooke and Ridge, and though it felt like the world had shifted beneath her feet, Brooke knew that somehow, someway, she would find a way to move on, she always had. But for now, all she could do was stand in the empty room, the echoes of their love still lingering in the air.